I don't think that an owner should be dictating the quarterback situation. If you are the Eagles and you have the sixth pick overall by virtue of punting on that final game, of laying down to that final game, you get the sixth pick overall, you are in line for one of these top quarterbacks. Not Trevor Lawrence, maybe not Justin Fields or Zach Wilson, but there is the Mac Jones, Trey Lances of the world. Somebody's going to go number six, okay? One of these guys, number six or beyond. So you could draft one of these five quarterbacks at number six, definitely. I understand if the Eagles, led by Howie Roseman and Nick Sirianni, are saying, you know what, we've seen enough from Jalen Hurts. We're happy with this guy right now. We think it's smart to build up the roster with this number six pick elsewhere, and let's roll into the seas with Jalen Hurts. I get that. But I want my football guys to make that decision, not my owner. And this, I'm not one to defend Carson Wentz. I think he's acted like a big baby shooting his way out of town after they gave him all of that money and all of that responsibility, and suddenly he's not happy with any of it. But this is the type of thing that would drive you to demand a trade if your owner is the one dictating personnel stuff. Jeffrey Lurie didn't become the owner of the Eagles because he was the smartest football mind. You know, these billionaire owners don't walk into some type of room and take some football aptitude test or sports aptitude test. Oh, man, you really know your personnel. Wow, you scored a 98 on the draft Wow, you really understand the X's and O's of, of the run and shoot. No, they become the owner of these teams because they are great in business or because their dad gave them the team. Let's remember this part as well. Some of them were great in business. Some of them, their dad was great at business. Some of them, they just get the team because it's the family business. Cal McNair, doofus. Not a great billionaire mind. Got it because his dad was a great business mind. Mark Davis, doofus. Got it because Al Davis was an amazing football mind and a cutthroat competitor. I mean, these guys, you know, the Maras, the Roonies, they didn't do anything. They just got the team. So some of these don't even have the business acumen that sometimes we label them with. But at least for Jeffrey Lurie, no, he bought the Eagles. So he's he's clearly got a great business mind. But... Why should I have him making my quarterback decision? That should be on Roseman and Nick Sirianni. That should not be on the owner. When I heard that, I said, I don't like this. I don't like the smell of this. This might end up being the decision anyway by the front office. It probably would be the decision, but I just don't want my owner to make that decision. 